Welcome to this segment of 10 Points video series, Now You Know. My name is Brian Zabitsky. I'm the Service and Repair Manager for 10 Point Crossbow Technologies, Horton Crossbow Innovations, and Wicked Ridge Crossbows. So today I'm going to show you how to complete the cocking process if the string gets stuck on the dry fire inhibitor. And I'm going to show you using the 10 Point Carbon Nitro RDX with AccuDraw. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is to make sure that the safety is in the forward red fire position. All 10 point Wicked Ridge and Horton crossbows have to be in the forward fire position in order to cock the bow. Check the paw lever and the AccuDraw mechanism to make sure that it's in the down disengaged position. Next, you'll pull the claw up out of the AccuDraw unit, up over the scope, making sure not to catch the cords on the scope knobs. You're going to want to make sure that the ridge in the claw is seated down in the flight rail. You're also going to want to keep the back end of the claw elevated slightly so that when you draw the claw back, those arms are going to be positioned outside of the string. Then you will push down on the back side of the claw and then push forward and maintain that motion uh, forward down the flight rail to where it then will pop into place in the, the channels on the front of the claw itself. So after you've reseated the string onto the claw, you'll then engage the paw lever on the AccuDraw unit. You'll take your crank handle and then you're going to make sure, once again, that the safety mechanism is in the forward fire red position. And then you're going to cock the bow normally at that point. Now you want to make sure that when you're cocking the crossbow with an AccuDraw that you keep an eye on that safety knob. When it jumps back to the white safe position, you want to stop cranking at that point. Um, it's important not to over crank the AccuDraw when you're uh, cocking the bow. So after the safety knob jumps back into the safe white position, this means that the bow is now cocked, and so you'll want to remove the AccuDraw claw next. Push forward on the, uh, the crank handle approximately an eighth of an inch. This will free up the paw lever so that you can push it down into the disengaged position. Then you will backwind the AccuDraw handle approximately two and a half turns, and then you'll remove the handle. So now you're ready to remove the claw from the string. You will lift up slightly on the back end of the claw while pushing forward at the same time. And bring the claw up over the scope and then reseat the claw back into its uh, mounting position behind the trigger box. And at that point then you'll push the paw lever up into the engage position to lock the claw and now you can shoot your crossbow. Please visit our website for more information or call our customer service department with questions. Thanks for watching today. Now you know.